Hello everybody, Exotic Realm Gaming here, and welcome back to part 3 of how to make your Minecraft less laggy. So if you haven't checked out parts 1 and 2, the links will be down in the description, so definitely go check that out. And today we'll be going over the Razer Game Booster program, and what this does is, it pretty much boosts up your game. So, what you want to do is search up Razer, Razer, Razer Game Booster, and it'll bring you to this Razer Zone site right here. So just press that. And then you will see that you can download for Windows right here. And you can also read the description and watch videos and stuff like that. Just download that. And then you'll get the setup. And then just wait for that to download. And it will also need you to register an account. So if you do not have one, just make one real quick because you'll need it to open up Razer Game Booster. So after you've installed it, you should have this desktop icon right here. Double click that and it should open up. So, so there we go. Just wait for it to open up, and what you do is, you pretty much just drag your games from your desktop onto this this part right here, so, let's just say I want to drag in, um, Photoshop, I don't think I have that, so I'll just drag it in here, and it says Razer Game Boosted, but it will work for other programs, like Adobe programs, and just other stuff, so, here's the launcher, what you do is, you pretty much click the game, select the game, and then click launch, and what it does is it will temporarily shut down all your background applications to pretty much focus all the performance on Minecraft. So if you click boost settings, you can actually select what you want to be shut down temporarily. So I pretty much have most things selected except Explore EXE. Because, I mean, I don't suggest setting that, shutting that down. But yeah, just select. you can select what you want. So if let's say you want to record, you probably don't want to shut that down, so just uncheck that. And it also has a screencast tool, so... Let's say you don't have a good screen recording software, you can have a free one right here. And there's also other stuff like tweaks, defrag drivers, diagnosis, you can analyze your entire computer, and pretty much stuff like that. So let's say I want to launch Minecraft. I would just select it, launch, and since I have everything selected, it will make my game look really, well not my game, my PC look really old and stuff. But it does improve the performance, and now the sign in again. There we go. And just click play. And there we go. Now we have our game boosted. Um, yeah, let's see. So I'll just go on a server real quick. I'll go on eh, the hive. Why not? So as you can tell, definitely not that much lag. I'm actually playing on fancy, fancy right now. My video settings, graphics fancy. I usually I won't be able to do that because I have such a horrible PC. But since I've raised the game booster on, I now can and. I mean, 20 frames, it's not bad considering, well, I mean, if you have my computer, it's not bad, but to, like, the pros, it's probably going to be really bad, but, yeah, you get the idea, and pretty much, once you close off Minecraft, it will automatically put you back onto the original restore it to normal mode. So, yeah, there we go, and then, it should still be running, so if I, if I just open that back up, then you should close it off. So yeah guys, that's pretty much how to install Razer Game Booster and to boost your game. If you enjoyed it, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for part 4 of the final part coming out soon.